Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and I've got a question this week, or a question was uh, sent to me on my YouTube channel uh, about messaging back and forth between different satellite messengers and the Garmin messengers, Garmin inReach. And I have stated several times that you have to initiate, on many of these devices, you have to initiate the message from the Garmin first to be able to communicate, because when I have messaged in the past from other messengers to Garmin, the inReach satellite messengers, it didn't work. So I'm out here today to test it, but before we get into that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. The first one I'm gonna to test today is from my Spot X Bluetooth. Now, I believe I can actually make the, uh, send the message from my phone since it's Bluetooth, so why don't we do that? First thing I always do is make sure that they're connected on the Bluetooth and that it shows up. It's not showing up right now, so I'm gonna take a look at this and see if there's a setting here that I need to um, do something here on the Spot X itself. All right, so it doesn't show that it's, there's a Bluetooth connected here. Um, I've got an inReach connected and I've got a GoPro connected, which of course makes sense. I'm video with GoPro. Let's see how this uh, sends. Let's see if I can send it from my phone. And if it's maybe not showing Bluetooth, but maybe it is uh, actually connected. And then I'm going to, uh, then I'll try it on the actual spot. It, uh, spot X itself. Okay, so it's not syncing and I've got some issues off to test uh, test the sync out before, but you don't have to sync, so we should be able to send a message right from the Spot X itself. The nice thing about the Spot X is it has the built-in keypad. It's easy to type in custom messages if you aren't synced, so this is a, a great uh, thumbs up for Spot X. I was talking to customer service the other day and I was asking them because it doesn't have maps and I told them I feel like the Spot X is more of a communicator rather than using it for GPS uh, when you're on the trail and maps and they agreed. They said it really, its focus is on the communicating part, not on uh, seeing where you're at on the trail. All right, so I just sent the test. We'll see if it works because a lot of this depends on whether you set contacts up ahead of time and um, you may not be able to see it, but it's at the, at the top of the screen. It actually is showing that it's sending the message. There, there's an arrow that's uh, going up, uh, head, you know, that's uh, pointed upwards. I'm going to give it a little bit of time, see if the message actually goes through. I'm going to be sending a lot of different messages today, so there's going to be a, a lot of different dead silence, some silence and stuff, but I'll be cutting all that out. But I'm going to just test uh, about three or four, about four different devices and see how the messages work. And I'm starting all of them from the other messengers from the spot, the the uh, ACR bivy stick and the Zolio to the Garmin to see if it works going from to the Garmin first, because that's my experience. You have to go from the Garmin to them first in order to make it work. But we're going to see, maybe I'm wrong. And uh, if there are some complications, I'll call, I'll contact customer service and find out and, and make sure I've got it figured out. While this is still sending, I'm gonna pull out one of my other devices. Too bad it's in my backpack, so now I gotta take my pack off. And I'll have these other devices out and I'll send messages from all of them. And I'll do them pretty much you know, simultaneously so that I can uh, uh, get, more, get more action going on here rather than just sitting and waiting one at a time. All right, so so far the Spot X is just trying to send the message still, it's not going through. Let's look at a few of these others real quick. I may be strapping these satellite messengers to my pack. Probably looking quite obnoxious. Probably situation pretty much every day of my life. Uh, if you didn't know, I like to have fun. And uh, I tend to use what they call, I guess, uh, self-deprivating humor. So I make fun of myself before other people have a chance to. Uh, so I've got a orange on the satellite messenger here. Oh, it just went green. Um, I guess this tree right here is blocking that view. Always make sure you have a good clear view of the sky. So I am going to set it over where I'm going to get a better view of the sky. And it looks like it's showing green. All right, so let's check here. See if about sending a message from my ACR to the Garmin. Double check here, make sure it's paired. Okay, so it's showing me on the map, so it looks like it's uh, it's working fine. But I always like to double check and see if it's connected. Yep, Bivy Stick. Okay, so Bivy Stick's connected on my 
uh, on my settings on my phone. So we're good there. Now let's go send a message. How I'm sending a message now is I'm actually sending it to my Garmin inReach email account. Sometimes it associates a phone number, but usually when I've seen that is if I initiate the, the message from my Garmin, then there'll be a phone number that shows up on the device and then I can message back and forth. Right now I don't have a phone number and I've looked it up and, and Garmin doesn't have a unique cell phone number as far as I know. Correct it on the screen if I find that out to be incorrect. It's been the case in the past, I believe. If you see something I'm saying that's wrong here, please leave a comment, correct me, and I'll, I'll, I'll change or I'll put something in the description to correct that. All right, I just sent it. Let's see if it goes through because um, it'll give audible alerts when something happens. I have the basic subscription plan on the ACR, so it actually should show it taking a credit, I th think. Well, it's showing it sent. Sometimes it takes two, three to five minutes to, for a message to send. I'm going to check on my Garmin. And I'm testing out the Garmin SE Plus today. It's a bit of an, um, I don't know if it's an old model, but I believe they may be discontinuing it. So, so far nothing's been received. Now, the other one I'm going to test is the Zolio. Zolio, you know, you think it's a small device. It's actually a pretty big device, but you know, it's smaller than Spot X. Let's turn this on, send a message from Zolio. I think I'm gonna be making my point here today. You have to initiate from the Garmin first, then you can communicate. So far, nothing's going through. It's not quite, you know, for sure yet because sometimes it takes several minutes for a message to go through when, you, you know, when you're using satellite service. All right, Zolio is on. Got to find a place to put it on my pack here. They make a movie about me someday, guy with all the satellite messengers. So everything's good on that. Let's check and see if my Zolio is connected. All right, it looks like it's connected. It's giving me a number for it, which I believe is it. I need to change that so I can tell it's the Zolio. All right, so let's send a message from Zolio. One problem is I could be sending it to the wrong thing to initiate the message. However, I think the main way to send a message to the Garmin InReach products is using the um, the InReach email. So, well, f that's what the test is for. Figure this all out. Just got an alert there. I think that was from my Zolio, though. Okay, I've just typed out a message. Now I'm going to hit send. It's now showing it sent it. This isn't a problem with it sending it from these devices. It'll send it. Will it receive it on the Garmin device? That's the question. It's still too quick to know if it actually uh, is sending again because it takes several minutes, uh, sometimes up to say five minutes for it to send. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to stop the video for a minute, uh, except maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna enjoy the view behind me and I'm going to wait and see if any of these messages go through. I personally don't think they're gonna go through. Just because I've tested this before and unless I'm doing something wrong, you know, it is what it is. So that's what I'm out here to do is learn for myself and then help you also learn something about these devices. That's why I say though, make sure before you go out on, a, on any kind of a trip, especially if you're going on a multi-day hiking trip with a lot of different people and they have different messengers, better test those messengers first. It wouldn't be a very good deal if every single day you've got to start and message everybody from your Garmin so they can message you back throughout the day. You know, it'd be nice that if somebody's got a Zolio or an ACR or Bivy Stick or a somewhere global hotspot, they can message you anytime. Um, this is the problem I'm finding so far. So I will be back in just a minute and see if any of these messages have gone through. And if they don't go through, well, either way, if they do or don't, I'll let you know. And then after that, I'm going to test and I'm going to send messages from the Garmin to all these other devices and see if I can communicate that way. Okay, it's been over 10 minutes and no messages have gone through, but my point is being made here. I sent him another message from my ACR bevy stick. Now I did one to the Garmin inReach email. I did another one to the phone number that's been associated with this in the past. 
I got a message back and it says from Garmin. And it says, your message cannot be delivered. The inReach must send a message to your phone in order to start a conversation. Visit support.garmin for help. I've been saying this. I will contact customer service just to make sure. But now I'm going to test it going from the inReach to all these devices. Let's see what happens. Okay, here it goes. Let's go and send messages from the Garmin itself to these. So we'll start, we'll send a message to the a ACR bivy stick first. Here's one problem I just found. So unless you know the phone number, I've got like, I don't know, eight or 10 different phone numbers and some of them are different satellite messengers and they don't say what they are. Now in my contacts, I say ACR bivy stick. But when I look on here, all I see is phone numbers. Now I know what the ACR Baby Stick phone number is, so I'm going to select it. Well, you know, the problem when you're out in the mountains, so you better know what the phone number. You just better test these things always before you head out. So I've got screenshots here. I'll put up on everything, but I'm going to hit. I'm going to send this now. Test from Garmin SC Plus to ACR Baby Stick. It's showing it's sending. So there it goes. You heard that audible? It sent it from the Garmin. Now let's see about how long it takes. That took, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, but it uh, wasn't more than a minute. Let's see how long it takes to get to the bivy stick. Well, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and send messages to the Spot X and also the Zolio. All right, hope you heard that. And message was just sent. That one should be to the Spot X. So this finally says it sent the message Let's go check here. Now this is another question. So it's not been received yet. Uh, it, the message from the Garmin has not been received by the Spot X and vice versa. Um, this is a question I've had for a while. If you're out in, in the mountains with your, your Garmin and you don't have a contact and I didn't have the Zolio phone number in as a contact, I've added it to my phone, but it, it, what it needs to be synced, it hasn't shown up on the Garmin yet. I'm gonna see if I can add the phone number on my Garmin and send it. If you're in the mountains, if you happen to have the number, know the number and you wanna send it, and just, but it's not been synced in many contacts yet. Let's check this out. Okay, so what happened? I don't even need to worry about it because I did enter it in my phone. It did sync somehow without me doing anything. So now I can select it from my phone. All right, there you go, you heard it. And the message was received from my Garmin to my ACR. Prove my point, sorry, but um, this is what I've always found to be the case. So now I'm going in here and I'm gonna click on this. This will tell you the truth here. I, I'll have screenshots up again. When I'm gonna to reply to this message, and in this, this time, the message should go back. It should go back to my Garmin. Okay, so I've typed out the message. I'm sending it now, see if it goes back. Now while that's happening, let's check and see if the Zolio message was received. There is a message right here. Test from Garmin, see? Test from Garmin SE Plus to Zolio. Now let's reply to it. Okay, the message has been replied to from my Zolio back to the Garmin. Let's see if it gets it. I may need to check on the spot device because I did send it to the spot. There I go, I just got the message. Let's see here. Maybe I got two messages. I did, that was that fast. So here's a, a received SC Plus message sent to my AVR, ACR Bivy Stick. Success. Let's check the other one. Message, received message sent by SC Plus to Zolio. Point proven. You can message back and forth on these, but you have to initiate them from the Garmin inReach devices. I don't know why that's the case. I've heard it in the past. All my tests prove, prove that to be true. I got a question this week that said that's not true. I was like, okay, you know, trying to be humble here a little bit, going, okay, I'm gonna go test it. Now, other than the spot not uh, working, that message not uh, working out yet, on the ACR and the Zolio going back and forth between those two, Absolutely worked just like um, I thought. Garmin even sent the message when I uh, sent it from uh, the ACR Bivy Six saying, nope, can't do it until you send a message from the inReach first. 
didn't get the same message when I did that with Zolio. Doesn't really matter. Everything I found out to be so far is true. You cannot message back and forth till you initiate from the in-reach devices. Kind of inconvenient because as I said, if you're out in the mountains and you want to communicate with somebody that has a Zolio, the person with a Zolio can't initiate the message first. The person with the in-reach uh, satellite messengers would have to uh, periodically throughout the day or maybe once a day have to send a message for them to be able to message back and forth. That's really inconvenient. This is why I've always said, if you're going to go out, and, and we're doing this this year, we're going to go out to the Colorado Trail, we're going to hike like the first five or six segments. We all have to have the same devices. And now you, you can work around it, but it's inconvenient. We're all either going to have Garmin's, or we're all going to have ACR bivy sticks, or we're all going to have Zolio's, or, or nothing. Uh, some I, what's going to happen is some people are not going to have any messengers, and we're going to have some to do. I have four Garmin in reach devices, so I will be able to actually uh, send them or um, have them put in other people's names so they can use them for a little bit and then give them back to me after the trip. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to have all Garmin uh, in reach devices on the Colorado Trail. So I don't think I need to go through this anymore other than you know wondering if the spot uh, actually worked. Um, I will double check here. Let me just let, let me just see if by chance anything's come through on the spot and then we'll wrap this this uh, this test up. This has been a very expensive, extent, expensive. It's expensive because I own all these. It's been an extensive test today because it takes just takes time to go through all these. So the it does show that I sent it from my spot to my Garmin. I'm going to double check. So no, it has not gone through on the Garmin. Um, I'm going to test that out some more in the future. But the Spot X is not my number one device to go to. I only uh, test it periodically when uh, somebody asks a question. Uh, it's not something I use regularly. Uh, so I'm not going to test it anymore unless somebody has a specific question. Now I do see a message here maybe being received from a previous message I did earlier uh, when I was testing something. Let's just see if something shows up here. I've got a test from Garmin SE Plus came through to spot. That's what I was looking for earlier. I got to uh, make sure that I take a photo of this. What I was making a point on or on was that you can't get you can't get these messages back and forth to each other until you, unless you start them from uh, the inReach. We're we're gonna go in here and look at this message and and reply to it to my inReach real quick. All right, give me a second here. We've got multiple tests going on today. I always really test these satellite messengers uh, pretty thoroughly for me at least and um, make sure that they work. So I'm going to reply to this. I'm just putting OK on the message uh, to make it simpler to send, just uh, send it back. So I'm, I'm spending too much time out here today. All right, so it shows it's being sent. I'm going to give it a minute here, see if it shows up. Oh, no. I have a problem. I have lots of problems. You know, where do you want to start, huh? So it sent it, but I had turned off my Garmin. Let's pull my Garmin back out here and see if that message uh, it gets received. All right, it always takes a few minutes, like I said, to uh, sometimes send these messages back and forth. I just got a message from Spot X that the message was received. That took a long time. So I've been testing these um, these messages to um, to see if they message back and forth. All right, so the Spot X actually uh, also works uh, going back and forth with uh, with Garmin in reach, uh, but again, it didn't work when I started from the Spot X and went to the Garmin in reach as uh, starting the message that way. It only worked when I went from the in reach to the Spot X, and then I was able to re reply to the Garmin. Uh, again, that's that's just the way it works. I don't know why, um, but it's good that you know that and I know that. So a long test today. Hopefully I can cut out all the dead spaces and quiet time and make this a, a much a shorter video. Uh, but it proves the point. And uh, go ahead and feel free to contact uh, Garmin yourself. I'm not going to because I've already talked to them in the past. I've already experienced this multiple times testing these out in the mountains. And then the message I just received from Garmin when I sent it from ACR saying, hey, you got to send it from uh, inReach first. 
proves my point. So sorry, don't mean to gloat here, but um, it's true. You have to initiate from the Garmin inReach devices first. So thanks for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon here in the great state of Colorado and the Rocky Mountains. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado next time.